Uh, the consistency. You know, our, our mindset didn't change. There was no letdown. Um, you know, we went out and played purposeful basketball. And, um, again, you, know, you see growth in guys um, about that. So it, it was good. Since the Miami game, your offense has really been on a roll. What are you seeing specifically um, on that end of the floor? Uh, the ball is moving. Uh, you know, you take a look at it, and our assists have been up. That means we're sharing the ball. That obviously means you're making shots. But, again, there's a purpose that we're playing with, you know, paying attention to the details, making sure we play together, trying to complement one another, um, and still working at just making the easy play, you know, and trusting the ball, um, you know, when the defense decides to take one thing away, like instead of trying to just play in a small space, just get off of it, make them pay, and trust that it'll get back to you later on. Where'd that purpose come from? Uh, growth. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where, you know, we can talk to them till they're blue in the face, um, but it's maturation. It's understanding how important the moment is. And, um, you know, it, it takes time, it takes mistakes, it takes learning, and then you get it and playing in games that matter, you know, um, where your opponent raises their level, and then you understand what it's like to be able to raise your level and where you need to be consistently, and I think we're seeing the fruits of that now. This is now your first winning road trip of the season. Does that mean anything to you? I mean, it means we're getting better. Um, it means we're continuing to grow like we thought we would. Um, but, you know, to me, you know, starting with that Miami game, you know, there was a different feel to our team. Um, you know, I, you can't always quantify it or put it into words, but there was just a spirit that was there. There was a purpose. There was an intensity. Um, I think our guys, you know, they get it now, and they know it's a long way to go. We got to continue it. But understanding, you know, what it means to be a good team, understanding what it means, you know, to be hunted, you know, those are things that we were learning. And I think our guys have a pretty good idea of that now. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Karis gave you some good energy and production uh, from the bench. How much do you like Karis in helping uh, the bench and the production that you were going to need going forward? This, he played well with the first unit at the same time uh, to spur on like the bench for tonight and going forward. How much is that going to be important? I mean, it's important because, you know, he can run um, an offense and you can run your offense through him. And, you know, not only is he a capable scorer, but he's a capable playmaker. Um, and he's a starter in this league. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have him now where he's in an opportunity where he's going against second unit guys. Um, you know, so he can be attack minded. He can make them play, make them pay for mistakes, um, whether it's him scoring, whether it's him facilitating. And then I think he's doing a great job on the defensive end of the floor for us, you know, putting pressure on people, being active, getting deflections and helping us turn our defense to offense. 60% in the first three quarters. Uh, is that probably the best your offense has been, uh, at least through the halftime, through three quarters at least? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, getting, we're, we're getting better. Um, but to me, the most important thing is, you know, there were very, very little up and downs, right? We played at a consistently high level, uh, and that's what we're aiming to do. Anything else from the JB, it seemed like there was a point of emphasis, at least early on, to get the ball inside. Like, what led you to, to that kind of strategy uh, uh, going against the Wizards? Um, I mean, you know, just the way that they play the pick and roll um, and where the open areas were going to be. Uh, and obviously we have, you know, tremendous amount of faith in our big guys and what they're capable of doing um, and how they can put pressure on the rim, put pressure on the paint, and then – you know, you're bringing guys in and then kick out opportunities are there for you, too. So, um, you know, it was just trying to take advantage of where we thought we had a strength um, and getting those guys the ball early on. Hey, Coach, uh, can you talk about uh, Isaac Okoro's recent uh, performances? I mean, he's been always a great defender, but he's really picked it up offensively these past three games. Just yeah, touch he, on that, his impact. Yeah, he's, again, it's, it's time served, work put in, uh, and confidence. You know, and it's not just confidence in himself. You know, his teammates believe in him. They watch how hard he works. They watch all the things that he does. Uh, they appreciate and respect all the little things that he does that nobody really puts on stat sheets or pays attention to, but they know how important it is to helping us win. Um, 
So, you know, they continue to give him the ball, and then his confidence is growing, and not only is he making spot threes, you know, now guys are closing him out. And now he's, he, you know, going back to a position of strength where he's always been really good at attacking closeouts and getting to the paint and making the next play, whether it's finishing or sharing it. So you're seeing him grow in confidence um, and grow in belief and just want to do more to help the team.